As elsewhere in South America, the children of Bolivia learn the lessons of life early, and usually that education is gained on the streets. With poverty a day-to-day -day reality for so many families, money has to be made in any way possible. is too young to work, the only ambition is to struggle on and to survive. Alternatives can prove to be a deadly form of escape. Glue sniffing is rife amongst those who fear the future holds as little hope of happiness as the present and the past. But sport does offer a real way out, and in Latin America, the sport has to be soccer. Even the smallest village has a set of goalposts. Wherever there's a patch of land, there's a ball being kicked around. And in Bolivia, there's a place where a boy's dream can come true, the Tawichi Soccer Academy. Pupils are drawn from the streets and the shanties and are turned into young men with a life and a purpose. In just 10 years, it's gained a worldwide reputation for footballing excellence, and numbers have grown from three boys to 1,000. Aged between 5 and 19, they spend half the day in a conventional classroom and the other half at Tawichi. Whilst receiving tuition in the basic rules of the game, the boys are also given a grounding in the art of sporting etiquette. Students of Tawichi are expected to grow into ambassadors of friendship and brotherhood, as well as proficient players. Older pupils get the chance to prove themselves against the very best youth teams in the world, and often win. Many go on to colleges in the United States and Europe, and the opportunity of achieving even greater goals. More and more have graduated to become professional players and make no secret of the debt they owe to the academy. I have learned from Tawichi so many things in life, you know, because if I wouldn't be in Tawichi, I don't know what I, would, what I wouldn't even be doing here, you know, because people in here in Bolivia have not many choices in, in life. So Tawichi for me has been a, it's been a, a good thing, you know. Another man who has cause to be grateful to the school is Joaquin Vargas. Tawichi sent him to study abroad and he recently became one of the academy's first two graduates to sign for professional clubs in Europe. Vargas now plays for the Swedish side, Hacking of <laughs> Tawichi's undoubted success has led to the accumulation of an impressive array of trophies. They're the tangible results of one man's determination and sense of vision. Until a coup in the early 70s forced him into exile, Rolando Aguilera Pareja was a government minister. When he was able to return home, he decided something had to be done to help the children of Bolivia. His father had been a professional soccer player, dubbed Tawichi, a local word meaning big bird. In his name, Aguilera founded his academy. There was another powerful influence too, Pele. While in exile, Aguilera had been inspired by a visit to a soccer academy the Brazilian superstar was setting up in the United States. When he came back to Bolivia, Aguilera set his own idea in motion, hiring a professional coach to train his two sons. Before long, other boys came round and the legend of Tawichi was born. The academy's first team in 1978. Now, hundreds of boys are able to follow in their footsteps, hoping that it might prove to be a pathway to soccer stardom. For them, it's more than recreation. Tawichi gives them a sporting chance of a new and better way of life. <laughs>